So a lot of times people ask me, where do you get your chickens from? It's a really great question, and maybe they don't necessarily want the full answer, but hopefully you do. Sometimes people are really surprised that you buy them on the internet, right? And maybe plenty of y'all are not. Obviously, it's it's very widely accepted idea that you purchase chickens on the internet as baby chicks, and they ship them to your house via the post office. And maybe some of y'all are wondering as well, is it really safe to have baby chickens shipped through the mail? It actually completely is safe. Now I'll go ahead and tell you, before we get too far into this, if you're looking to buy perfect, bread to standard, uh, flawless, show quality chickens, you do not want to buy day old chicks from a hatchery on the internet, okay? Just plain and simple, you're gonna get what's called hatchery grade birds, okay? Hatchery grade chickens are just fine for backyard chickens, there's nothing wrong with them. They lay wonderful eggs, they're great chickens to have, great personalities, and they're, they're gonna do you well. We've got chickens, we still have one chicken that's nine years old, okay, bought from a hatchery. But they're not going to be consistent in their uh, maybe color, uh, size and things of that nature. For instance, these are both black copper Marines. Okay, Bella right here is probably larger, much larger than what you should expect from a black copper Marine. She's a very big, broad backed chicken. And right beside her is Sophia. Okay, and Sophia eh, might be a little lean for a black copper Marine. She certainly was cert certainly was when she was younger. She's filled out a little bit more, but she may be a little small, a little lean. Uh, for a black copper moran but they're both black copper morans but this is the kind of the inconsistency you can get from a hatchery they're both great chickens too by the way and truthfully sophia lays a bigger egg than bella so <laughs> but they're still great birds nothing wrong with them but it really is a simple process it's a great way to buy chickens you can also go to your local farm supply store tractor supply rural king whatever you got your whatever you got in your area and you can buy chickens there when they come in when the tractor supply does their chick days and rural king has baby chicks all year long and rural king may get better quality i don't i really don't know exactly where they get there's that but like tractor supply you can get fine chickens there plenty of people have gotten fine chickens at tractor supply plenty of people have also gotten um gotten chickens and been disappointed with them okay whether it be they didn't get the breed they, they thought they were getting or whether or not they didn't they thought they were getting a female and they got a male that happens okay now when you order chickens online you're going to have the option to buy a straight run which means you get whatever they got it could be male it could be female they're unsexed okay or you can buy a male or female and those chickens will be sexed there are um people it's their job they come in and they they sex day old birds or sex the birds as soon as they're out of the hatch out of the uh, hatcher and they and they sort them male and female okay there is a small chance that they've made a mistake or they put them in the wrong bin okay but that's a small mistake we've never gotten one that was wrong we've only we've we've always gotten all of our chickens exactly right as far as uh, uh sex male or female so we've never ordered hens and gotten a rooster okay that's that's one thing that's very important to, to understand now there's several good hatcheries out there we've used my pet chicken and we've used mary mcmurray okay we've never used um hoover uh meyer poultry which by the way if you're not aware meyer and my pet chicken are simpatico okay same site uh same on site same same place and they may be owned by the same people maybe not i don't know but very similar if you look at their websites has same breeds pretty much same pricing everything and we have not had bad experiences with them but we just we've used them twice and mcmurray hatchery we've used one two three times okay i'm fine if i'm not mistaken um we use mcmurray more often because it just fits what we do better some places like cackle hatchery okay we've never i would like i probably would like to use them at some point in time they're just requirements are different like we we only buy six or eight chickens at a time and we typically only you get two uh two chickens of each breed okay and the reason for that is because we like to get different breeds so i like have a lot of variety but also we like to be able to easily understand which chickens lay in which egg and so if you only have two to choose from <laughs> then it makes it a heck of a lot easier to figure out and then also we typically buy chickens that are going to lay vastly different looking eggs so like these two right here blue and blue 
they're actually called whiting true blue okay now they're not called true blue because they are blue they just happen to be blue right but they're called whiting true blue because they lay blue eggs so only about two of those that way it's easier to distinguish which one laid which blue egg okay and like we've got two black copper morans right here black those black ones okay they both lay really dark eggs really dark brown eggs and so we got two so it's easier to distinguish which one laid which one all right and now by the way mcmurray hatchery has very good black copper morans okay really good experience a lot of people care about how dark the eggs are they lay a nice dark egg okay we'll take you through this process here um when like so we'll use mcmurray for example because that's who we use it's very simple you go through you select you know chicks okay and then you go baby chicks and it can go standard or ban or bantam then like on mcmurray's site you can you can then filter out you know what color eggs you want if it doesn't matter you don't don't filter that but you can choose tended what's oh, that's what you would choose if you want colored a green or, or a blue egg or a dark brown or a brown or white whatever so you can filter those results out or you can just kind of scroll through and find the bird you want and select that bird now they'll give you options availability options uh, which like what date you want that on okay and you can select the date you select male female straight run again i personally believe you need to choose female i understand straight runs cheaper straight runs cheaper because you're not gonna get what you want <laughs> all right you're probably gonna get more roosters and so once you select what you want and when to get it, you're going to go through the process again. It's asking for, if you, like, before you finish your order, do you want your chicks vaccinated or not? Whatever. Uh, we we always should choose, you should always choose Merrick's vaccination because that's a horrible thing that your chickens can randomly get through the air and it will kill your whole flock. Uh, coccid coccidiosis uh, vaccination, I would, I would, I would select no. Um, you only should only get coccidiosis if you're not keeping, taking care of your chickens and if you really care that if you really want to do it you can get medicated feed which we don't do either but we have done in the past also it's some people believe that the coccidiosis vaccine can um, can stunt the growth of your chickens we did that the first time we bought them and we had smaller birds for some on some so you never know and there you can then you can just complete your order and that's that's a very simple idea now you can so we enjoy doing that because the only guess I mean, mcmurray will ship you as few as i think as few as six maybe few, as few as three i'm not sure exactly um and the shipping's cheaper my pet chicken that was used before shipping's pretty expensive okay um <clears throat> that's just you get fine birds but you get they do get expensive on the shipping and like at mcmurray you can get if you want 25 or more you can get them like in january february if you want 15 or less you can start getting those like in march i think is what it is uh, but they'll tell you there's their restrictions cackle hatchery for instance we haven't used them because um their restrictions are like if you buy like if we wanted two new hampshire red hens or new hampshire hens you can only you, you have to buy three so we can only buy two breeds or two different breeds if we wanted six that way we have to get the three of those and three of something else so that's pretty much the only reason why we don't use them or I haven't tried them is because it just doesn't work for our situation currently it is really safe to buy chickens from the, from the internet we have had a bad experience the postal post the post office uh left <laughs> our birds on the on, in their loading dock area for an extra day on one time and they weren't packaged for that they still, okay they, they are given heat packs okay so they put heat packs in the in the um under the 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 bedding there in the box and they got air holes and stuff so you can they're safe and the heat packs will keep them warm well my pet chicken only put one heat pack in there because we only live like three hours from them okay we're not far from them at all so they thought we we're going to get them the next day and they should be just fine the, and they would have been if the postal service didn't leave them on the loading dock in cool temperatures for an extra day we bought eight only got six because two died and then one of the birds never laid an egg because she probably didn't develop really well really really well that was not my pet chicken's fault that was the postal service's fault now unfortunately the postal service doesn't pay for any of that okay but my pet chicken did credit us two birds if you have dead birds they will credit you okay now for instance there are horror stories of people saying all my birds were dead I guess that could happen okay we've never had any any other issues with weak birds out of all five times we've ordered chickens online okay just that one time and that was the postal service's fault 
um, they I guess it could happen something could happen they could get beat around kicked around left left out somewhere I guess it's possible if it happened that much there wouldn't be online hatcheries to ship them through the mail because they wouldn't be successful right they're not it's not a successful business have to keep replacing them all I don't know of a situation where a, a hatchery has said I'm not paying for them sorry oh well out you're out you're out your, your money I've never heard that happen to be honest with you um, it may have happened somewhere McMurray's always great my dad uses them they work with him uh, if he has one that got sex wrong which he's had a few times and but he's he's bought more chickens than we have so beware <clears throat> but my pet chickens worked with us they worked with, they worked with him as well um he had issues with them now years ago okay my dad used my uh, used mcmurray when i was a little kid because they've been around for over 100 years they're they've been they're great and you know there's a different process kind of sort of you know just because mel was probably slower then but everything went pretty well then too now angela's grandpa when they when uh, they lived in tennessee her grand her mom was born in tennessee so um he used to buy chickens through the mail we'll say back in 1945 okay he <laughs> that's just it's been a while ago and but he would order like he had to order like 75 or 100 at a time because that's just how they sold them but also you, well, you way over ordered because half of them showed up dead okay that doesn't happen <laughs> that's not the way things operate anymore okay so just be aware that that is a that it's not really a major issue okay And again, even if you do have some dead birds, which does happen, that's not that's not unheard of. Um, they do work with you. So I think honestly, most of them are like if they die within 48 or 72 hours, you have a two or three day leeway there. And if you have an issue there within a couple of days, they they'll go and refund your money or replace the bird. All right, that's it. I hope I covered it all. I feel like I did. But I could talk about chickens forever, so just be aware if you get in a chicken video with me. So don't be afraid order your chickens online but do your research okay which we will talk about that again very 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 soon all right and make sure you buy what you want order females if you're looking for hens don't straight don't do straight run and enjoy those backyard chickens so thank you guys so much for watching do appreciate it. my name is jason this is art of creation homestead we love y'all god bless you and goodbye